What's going on guys? Dorian here with another Crown Vic video. Today I'm going to give you the reasons why you should not buy the Crown Vic Police Interceptor. Sick Mini Cooper. Yo Joe. You know that guy. So the first reason why you should not buy a Crown Victoria Police Interceptor it's because they're beat up by the police department that you're more than likely going to be ending up getting it from. Or the taxi division who also probably bought them from the police department. So the first first thing, like I said, they're beat up. The transmissions are usually pretty beat up. They're not driven right. They usually are idling for a very long time. Uh, they're, they're usually maintained, but the maintenance is not as good as you would think it would be. So, very, very first reason right off the bat is because the the cars are beat up. They're not they're not well taken care of as far as driving wise. It's not the person's car who owns it, so they're not going to take care of it. Uh, the second reason you should not buy a Crown Victoria is because they suck on gas. They're absolutely terrible. This car, I think I get like. 15 miles highway, 17 miles, 17 miles highway, 15 miles city. Uh, it's a 4.6 uh, liter V8, so they're not that great when it comes to gas mileage. They're strong, but it comes at a price with the gas mileage, so it's another reason why not to own a Crown Vic. The third reason why is that this tire size that's on these cars is very hard to find. I believe it's a 255 or 235. Yeah, it's a 235, 55, 17 for 05 and higher and below that they're uh, either a 16 inch tire or a 16 inch rim or a 14 inch rim. But for the 06, the 05 and higher, they're the 235, 55, 17 and that size is pretty hard to find. You know, you go to the junkyards and you'll find them, but they're all sorts of beat up or they're dry rotted or they're just they're not worth it. And then if you go online and you try to buy the tires that the police departments put on it, which are the Eagle RSAs, they're almost impossible to find cheap. You know, even on a site like Tire Rack, you're going to be paying a pretty penny for them. Uh, another reason why you wouldn't want a Crown Victoria is because... They were old cop cars, so they look like cop cars. People have the impression that they are cop cars. And man, the amount of looks that you'll get in these cars is absolutely crazy. They'll they'll be staring at you. You'll have people, like right now, the speed limit's 50 here. We're doing 40 this whole time. You know, you'll have people that won't go to speed limit. So you'll have people that'll stare at you up and down, left and right, trying to figure out if you're a cop. And if you don't like people looking at you, you don't like attention being drawn to you, Crown Victoria is definitely not the car that you're going to be wanting. Uh, another reason to not get one of these cars, like I said, they're beat up mechanically, but they're also usually pretty beat up uh, paint uh, exterior paint wise. Uh, usually you'll have like some rust or you'll have some sort of stickers left over from the department that you that you bought them from or the auction that you got them from and uh, that you, that's definitely something to keep an eye out for uh, painting these cars isn't cheap if you do all the prep work yourself and you prime it and all that Mako does a decent job but you know it's another added accessory or another added bill that you would have to get just something to look out for another thing is that this car has no modern features or no modern uh, amenities to it, it literally you get a speedometer, you get a little bit of heat, a little bit of air conditioning, no climate controls, no fancy lights. You know, it's it's, it's run-of-the-mill basic materials put down on the car. Run-of-the-mill basic uh, functions. There's no added functions, no GPS, no backup cameras. So it's very bare bones, which is why I bought it. But for some, you know, it could be a downfall. And. Uh, yeah, over, overall, those are those are the reasons on why you would not want to buy a Crown Victoria. Um, if you did buy a Crown Victoria, which one of the reasons was kind of holding you back from buying one? Uh, just let me know in the comment section below. 
And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you.